We're out of food. So we're gonna figure out what we have in our rations. Hopefully I'm not reduced to eating sardines or not <laughs> Jessica food-ish. We are on our way to site number two. We're gonna fly the drone. We could not pass up the chance. We hope you enjoy it. the next camping ground which is two hours away <laughs> hey guys we are almost to stop number two the Sunset State Beach in Watsonville yeah we just drove past this field full of nothing but giant green plants and I was like whoa those are huge what are those looks like marijuana but I think it was artichokes <laughs> anyway we're on our way and we'll show you the uh, Sunset State Beach campground when we get there Hazel's pointing at something and I don't know what he wants oh, to say wash. oh he's obsessed with washing his car guys we just spent 30 minutes washing the truck, power washing the truck because we had sand all over it. But anyway, we're nice and clean now, so it's time to get dirty again. It's lighter. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Hold on, do that again, do that again. The ocean is over those hills. Last night you can hear the uh, waves. Low sunshine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We gotta check how much food we have left. There's not much. Boom. <sighs> We're out of food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Apparently we didn't bring enough food. So we're gonna dig into what we have. And so far going to going out to go get some food is quite a distance let's check out what we have in our tote and what we have in the cooler and we'll go from there and then we'll cook I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay so yes this is our last day Sunset State Beach tomorrow morning we drive more than a few hours I think it's about six hours to Reno to see my several bell. hours how's that yeah more than a few Anyways, we're gonna figure out what we have in our rations for food. Hopefully I'm not reduced to eating sardines or tuna or something equal.
equally not <laughs> Jessica food ish. And yeah, we will show you guys, <coughs> excuse me, our campsite. Okay, we'll do a tour and then we'll go to the cooking. Yeah, and hopefully the sun comes up. This is our spot right here. You got the truck, the tent, slippers, ring of fire, the wood. They're kind of moist from the fog rolling in all overnight. The other chair you'll see later. And this is our table. So, food wise, here's what we're gonna do. Let's check out what we have left. We got coffee. We got ruffles. Five cups of rice that we brought. We haven't even started cooking it. Boy Bawo. Boy Bawo. So we got spam. Vienna sausage. Surprise! Your favorite. Sardines. Lego sardines. Lego. That's for emergency, which is now we are in emergency, state of emergency, huh? <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> Salt and pepper. I'll have that before I'll have sardines. <laughs> Century tuna. Still, salt and pepper for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you're just sitting there. Hey, I'm chilling. Chilling at the holiday. Coconut oil. We have two pieces of bread. I don't know how they're gonna survive with that. Um, I can. I don't know about her. We have some. What are these? We have cabbage. Empty. Empty. Onion. Boom. Corned beef. Sriracha. What else? I guess that's it. So, I guess we're gonna do rice. Corned beef, cabbage. I don't know what's next. Let's cook. I know, I know, I know. I, I want to make some rice. You're gonna make some rice? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, five scoops of a half cup, which is two and a half cups of rice. Isa, dalawa, satlo, apat, lima. All right, let's turn it on. Whoa, it's okay. Cooking rice 101 with a white girl and a Filipino. Oh, so yeah. Coming Next. at you. Next. What you got? Corned beef and onion. I like mm -hmm. it well done. And he didn't uh, show you that we have itlog also. And oh. I'm going to have some eggs. And oh, breakfast. I prefer to put mustard. He doesn't like it. But I want mustard. Okay. So yeah. So I'm going to prepare the onion. Tell me how to do it. <laughs> Diced or sliced? Cut in the middle. Cut in the middle. Mm, my turn. Here. Kahaib. Since this is cooking rice, we're gonna go put up the other one. Alright, back with a clean pan. Light it up. Whoa! And then we got this corned beef. Coconut oil for cooking. Can I do the onions first? Whatever you like, baby. Uh, and yeah, no. Alright, we're gonna let these onions cook up and then we're gonna add the uh, corned beef in. How do you open it? Looks like a key. I don't know what to do. Help me. <laughs> One eternity later. Roll it in. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa! First timer? Never done that before? No. We have a who can open here. <laughs> Is it ready? Yeah. Yeah? Just what? Squeeze it in? <laughs> Oh, you're handing me a knife. All right, I passed the cooking torch on over to Hazel because I like the way he cooks eggs better than me. Hazel, who taught you how to cook? I was homeless in Las Vegas when I first moved out there and I was 19, so I had to learn how to cook. 
I have an idea of how to cook, but eggs, you can't really mess it up unless you break the yolk. I just call that scrambled. <laughs> Emotional damage! is on the other side of these. So coming up to the mountain, like I said, the water's right down there. Oh shoot, yeah, it's beautiful. Take you guys up to the camping spot. Our campsite is right up here. So campsite up here, water down here. So at night you can actually hear it. And here's the path from our campsite. Take you on a drive to the campsite with us. Right through those trees, you can see our tent. And we're gonna make this right. It's a relatively small campsite. There's only 37 camps in here. Watch how fast this thing goes down. Faster than anything you've ever seen before, yeah? <sighs> Alright, so we just took a uh, time lapse of the sunset. I hope you guys liked it. But we have decided instead of staying another night, we are gonna go hop on the truck and take a six hour drive to Reno, Nevada. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's okay. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I just spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door. I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive If you hadn't run away Every time I 